All right, it's five to seven newton meters, counterclockwise, and uh, oh, hey, <laughs> didn't see you there. Just doing some work here in the new studio, brushing up on some new technical documents. You know, we're gonna celebrate the birth of our new studio by launching a new web series, What's the Fix WBW. You have those burning technical questions that keep you up at night. Maybe something about cycling arcana you always want answered but didn't know who to ask. We are your go-to cycling experts. Just send your question in using the hashtag WTFWBW, either via our Twitter account or our Facebook page or using the email link on our website. And if you submit your question, you'll be in the running to win a $50 gift certificate or some sweet swag. We're going to do a drawing every month. So make sure you use that hashtag WTF WBW. You've got mail. Got some. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah, thanks Mark Proust. Got some uh, questions here. All right, first one comes from uh, Patty C from Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, thanks for tuning in Patty to WTF WBW. So uh, Patty asks, What's the difference between road bike pedals and mountain bike pedals? Are they interchangeable? What are the benefits and the drawbacks of each? Great question, Patty C. All right, clipless pedal systems. First of all, why do we call them clipless if you're clipping into the pedal? It's because you don't have that traditional toe clip and strap from the olden days of cycling. Clipless pedals actually a lot safer because you're not physically strapped to the bike. So in the event of a crash, you can disengage and you don't take the bike with you as you're tumbling. So actually quite a bit safer. Why do you want to be attached to your bike in the first place? It allows you to use the entire range of movement. You can use the pulley uppy as well as the pushy downy muscles. Those are physiological technical terms so that you can get a more efficient pedal stroke. So now let's look at the two types of clipless pedal systems. We separate clipless pedal systems into two categories, recessed cleat and non-recessed cleat. You might know them by road or mountain. The road is the non-recessed cleat because the cleat actually sticks out from the sole of the shoe. The mountain bike, the recessed cleat because the cleat is recessed into the lug of the shoe. What are the benefits and the downsides of each? The road or the non-recessed style of cleat tends to have a large larger platform that's single-sided, so you only clip into one side of the pedal. Larger platform means that the force is distributed over a larger area, so you don't get those hot spots or those concentrations of pressure. Also, they tend to be a lot lower profile. The idea being that you want to be able to pedal as far as you can into a corner and start pedaling as soon as you can out of the corner, so you get a lot more cornering clearance, single-sided. Problem is, the soles tend to be a lot stiffer, and with that cleat sticking out the bottom of the sole, not very friendly for walking, so I like to refer to these as the cloppity slippers. Try to go grocery shopping or hiking in these. It's like Brian Boitano Muppets on Ice. Looking at the recessed style, what we call the mountain bike style cleat, the pedals themselves tend to be two-sided, so you can clip into either side. In the case of the Crank Brothers, they're actually four-sided, so you have more chances of getting into the pedal when you're starting in a technical rocky climb or something like that. And then the shoes themselves, they tend to be a tiny bit flexier, so they're great for hiking as well as portaging your bike if you need to do a stream crossing for cyclocross racing, something like that. And since the cleat is recessed in the lug, a lot friendlier to walk on. Can you use mountain bike pedals on a road bike and vice versa? Of course. In fact, on some of my road bikes, those that I use for commuting or for touring purposes, I actually prefer the two-sided or the mountain bike style cleat because it's a lot easier to walk around in. You could certainly put a road bike or a non-recessed style cleat on a mountain bike, although I don't know why you would do that unless you're kind of looking for a lot more cornering clearance, but you certainly can. The only issue is the size of the pedal spindle. This threaded portion only works with those modern cranks, so you couldn't put these pedals on, say, an old Cruiser or a BMX. It's a little bit smaller of a thread standard. Thanks to Patty C for submitting that question. You have a head scratcher you'd like us to answer. Be sure that you submit that WTFWBW through our Instagram, through our Twitter, through our Facebook, or via email, and you'll get entered to win a $50 gift certificate or some sweet swag. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.